Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to show you how I make my little mini lemon cheesecakes with a homemade strawberry pie filling on top. Very good, perfect for summer, perfect for a big gathering because you can make them the day before and they'll be perfect the next day because let's face it, cheesecake needs to sit in the fridge for a long time anyway. So the best of all worlds. Let me show you the ingredients you'll need for the cheesecake part mixture. For the filling you need lots of softened cream cheese, eggs, sugar, vanilla, fresh lemon, and then you also need some ground graham crackers or graham cracker crumbs and some butter. Soften the room temperature or melt it. You do you boo, it makes no difference to me. Either way, you just need some butter. <laughs> I've got my oven preheated to 350. I also have a 12 cup muffin pan ready and lined with some papers and I am ready to rock and roll. Now I already used my um, food processor to ground up my graham crackers. Um, you need about a one and a quarter cup of graham, huh? one and a quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs and if you're buying the graham crackers themselves, you know they come in like sheets of, of like packages, it's with one package. Not a whole box, but a package. <laughs> so you're gonna put those in, and with that, you're gonna add some butter. Now, I'm not gonna add any sweetener to my crust, only because the filling is quite sweet and the topping is quite sweet, and I don't feel like the crust needs any extra sweetener, but if you feel like you wanna add a little sugar, add a couple tablespoons and you'll be good to go. I'm just gonna pulse this until it all comes together and it forms a texture of almost like wet sand. Then I'll bring my muffin liner over, and we'll do the whole thing. All right, this looks perfect. So here's what I want you to do now. Mm. I've got an ice cream scoop. You don't need an ice cream scoop. This is just the equivalent to one tablespoon. You take some of the filling, okay? Pop that into the center. Now, this is a shot glass. You can use whatever you got. I just need something to help press that filling down. That's it, that's all. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until they are all done. Make sure you do this while you're doing it because this makes a difference. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, the base for my cheesecakes are done, so now I'm gonna move on to the filling. I'm gonna make the filling in, the st in my, I keep wanting to say food pro standing mixer, but it's a food processor. Um, you can make this in a mixer, you can do it by hand, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. I like a mixer of some sort because I want this to be really creamy. So, ugh. You're gonna add lots of cream cheese. Really important that your cream cheese has been softened at room temperature. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with bits of cream cheese everywhere and it's just not that pleasant. I also wanted to mention that in, in the sugar, I also have a pinch of salt. You always want some salt when it comes to desserts because Salt is a flavor enhancer. It's gonna do the same thing to sweets that it does to savory. It makes them just stand out and be wonderful. Not gonna, not gonna taste any salt, so it's gonna be awesome. Your eggs, splash of vanilla extract, like so. And then I need a zest and juice of a whole lemon. So, I let that baby in there. And if you're interested in making like a big, beautiful, berry topped cheesecake, I have a gorgeous recipe for it. It's from a long time ago, but it's still the same berry topped cheesecake I make and love. Uh, so if you don't wanna do the whole single one, uh, we'll put a note around here somewhere where you can go click, or if you just go to my website and uh, look up cheesecake. It's a beautiful photo, you can't miss it, uh, but it's really, spectacular if you're looking to make something bigger and more elaborate. All right, and then I just need the juice of a lemon and I'm just gonna squeeze it between my fingers just to catch any, any seeds. Lid on and just mix until nice and smooth. Ready, ooh, that is nice looking, isn't it? Okay, oy vey, oh that is such a beautiful, Custardy goodness. All right, I'm just gonna use the same ice cream scoop. As if you didn't notice, I don't like to get too many things dirty if I don't have to, um, but I'm gonna do a few scoops for each one, obviously, because I want these to come up about like that. Three quarters of the way up, I would say. These are gonna go in my preheated oven at 350 for between 15 and 18 minutes. All you're looking for is for the edges to be slightly set, to be set and for the center to just be slightly set, but it will still be jiggly. Do not 
be tempted to overbake them because as they cool, they will develop that really beautiful, creamy, delicious cheesecake texture. It is not a really a, a regular cake batter, so you're not looking for it to be completely set in the oven. Otherwise, not edible. So I'm gonna pop these in, and while these bake, we're gonna get going on making the filling, the topping. All right, so to make the topping, you'll need lots of beautiful, fresh strawberries. There's no point in making strawberry pie filling from scratch if you're not gonna use in-season strawberries. Sorry to be the bear bad news, but that is the truth. So um, around this time of year, you can find the most gorgeous strawberries, so pick them up and make this because it's so much better than anything out of a can. However, if you wanna use already store-bought pie filling for the topping, who am I to say no? You do you, boo. <laughs> You're the boss, applesauce. Strawberries, you need cornstarch and sugar. This is some strawberry gelatin powder. It's really important here. If you don't wanna use it, use regular unflavored, but the strawberry is perfect. And you need some water. Easy peasy, not a lot going on. We need to use the stove. So, in a saucepan, you need to add the water. Look at me, I'm like Vanna White. <laughs> the sugar and the cornstarch. And you're gonna cook these for a couple of minutes um, once it's up to a boil, or until the mixture is no longer cloudy. So right now the cornstarch makes for a very cloudy mixture, but after a couple of minutes, that will go away and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. That is exactly what you're looking for. You see how it's nice and clear and it's no longer white and cloudy? Now you're gonna turn that off, you're gonna add your strawberry gelatin powder, which makes this so beautiful and red and gorgeous and it smells so good. Um, and you're just gonna mix this for, I don't know, about a minute or so. So just mix, mix, mix from the edges. See how I just really scrape around? That's what you're gonna sure you do. Then you just pour that mixture over your fresh strawberries. If you want to, you can add a handful of blueberries to this, blackberries, whatever your heart desires. And now you just wanna make sure that you are mixing them really well because you want everything to be well mixed just like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let this sit here, I would say for 15 minutes or so. I just took my cheesecakes out of the oven, so I want those to come to room temperature just a little bit, because if I top this right now on top of the cheesecakes, it could make the bottom just sink, the center sink too much. So I'm just gonna let everything kind of come to room temperature a little bit, and then we'll top them. And then we'll pop them in the fridge. So this has been setting for about 15 minutes, both the cheesecake and the topping. Now you wanna make sure you don't let this sit any longer than that, because the gelatin in the fill, the topping, I should say, will start to harden. So you wanna make sure that you give this just enough time to place that on top like that. And then what I like to do is, like if you can, just find like the prettiest one and just put it on top. Like you see how pretty that looks, how pretty that looks, that. So I just wanna make sure that you do that just cause it's, you know, it's visually it's pretty. I'm just gonna keep doing that on all of them and then you're gonna pop them into the fridge to set for several hours or even overnight. My cheesecakes were in the fridge for several hours. Look, I'm just taking one out for myself. Look how cute! That's how I talk about Mia, but look how cute. They're really perfect. I mean, they really, really are. I know. You know what? Yeah. I had a thought. And then I forgot. Mmm. Does not get better. I'm about to eat this entire thing right in front of your face. And for that, I apologize. But hashtag sorry, not sorry. They are so good. The, just creamy, creamy. The topping is so fruity and sweet and oh my word. Just go to lauraandthekitchen.com, get the recipe, then you make them, and then you call me. Hi, Laura. These are the best cheesecakes I've ever had in my life. And I'm gonna say, I don't know. The 
recipes there for you. The oven's preheated for something else. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I gotta go. Peace out.